All right, I'm Ron Wilkie. And in the last video, I was talking about physical security network setups. So because of an email that someone sent me. So what I wanna do now is uh, I wanna add to that video. So this is like a part two, but just to give you some sense of what we talked about. Basically, we talked about the different layers in um, transmission of data. And what we are focusing on is the physical aspect, the physical layer. And so we talked about that. Let's see if I can go into the next page. We talked about uh, the differences between the different cables. And what I want to talk about now, um, and we also talked about the topologies, the different actual setups. But uh, last time, I didn't really have enough time to talk about fiber optics. So there are a couple of things I want to mention. I wrote down some notes here, too that I wanted to mention as it relates to fiber optics. So let me see if I can do that. All right, so one thing you need to know about fiber optics, there are three aspects to it. Um, you have your light source. Oops. All right. You have your actual cable. It's called optical cable, actually. Optical cable. And that can be made of glass or plastic. One is more expensive than the other and I'll let you guess which one that is. And let's see what else. And you need a light detector. So this light detector uh, turns the light back into a back into data. It converts, converts the light to data. All right, and so we also talked about, like I mentioned before, we talked about topologies. So bus, tree, mesh, star, and ring. Uh, one thing that I did not mention with this star setup right here, this star setup, um, the good thing about it is that you don't really, you do have a single point of failure, but it's not your cable. So if this cable goes out right here, you're still sending information to the other systems. Uh, for instance, this uh, bus topology, if this cable goes out, no one is getting information. Also in this ring setup right here, if uh, this cable goes out right here, anything in this downstream will not get um, the information. So that's a, um, a good aspect to this star and why it's the most popular, the most used. So I didn't mention that before. I wanted to mention that. Oops, let me see. So let's go back. So we were talking about fiber optics. And um, as it relates to cables, obviously now we know about wireless. I mentioned wireless on the previous, on the very first screen, but I didn't talk about it as it relates to cables. Um, obviously wireless is cable-less. So they, uh, the aspect that is positive about this is that you don't have to uh, worry about the position. You don't have to worry about the location of actual cables. You may want to worry about where you set up your wireless access point, but you don't have to worry about where exactly the hub is located and the cables and where they're going and where your systems are located as it relates to wireless. So with wireless, you have um, a couple of different aspects to it. You heard of Bluetooth. So Bluetooth, the frequency is 802.15. And your regular wireless is usually like, and I say regular, but that's really an awful term for me to use, 802.11. I should say what you're most familiar with is 802.11, and also that is A G and B and then N. I don't know if I even feel like going through all of those different types. Ends, but that's uh, like your wireless LAN. So your LAN, just like I was showing you on the other pages with your topologies, uh, the 802.11, A, B, G, and N are considered wireless LANs. And that's like you'll just see W-L-A-N. So when you see W-L-A-N, that's what they're talking about. Um, now you have 
wireless man and that's basically for metropolitan so you can actually give the entire neighborhood or a city a small city wireless so that's what uh, W man is and that's actually 802.16 um, some other wireless technology, microwave, and this is a point-to-point. -point. So if your building is right here and you have your microwave, oh, it needs to be able to see where it's sending to this other building right here. So you have to have direct line of sight for it to work. And the same thing um, with um, optical. You need line of sight. Um, FYI, this is used a lot in uh, bank transactions. They use microwaves from and from one city to the other city. I mean it's amazing um, how they do it and it's pretty instantaneous. I mean it's very it's the speed of light. So and uh, you have mobile. So mobile is actually different then wireless, your mobile, you have your voice obviously and video data but it's over a 3G or 4G network at the time of this video uh, it's, uh, 4G is the fastest that we're using with our mobile and I can mention satellite that's basically from space or orbit to a local station that local station will send out the uh, data to uh, other individuals either using a cable or some other type of uh, wireless transmission. Alright so those are some of the things I wanted to mention um, that I didn't mention in the other video. Uh, if there are any other questions about your physical setup, physical security, um, just let me know. I'm looking at the video, I'm looking at this screen now and I notice I have STP uh, standing for um, shielded twisted pair and unshielded twisted pair UTP less expensive uh, but I will say UTP is uh, pretty much everywhere it's very uh, well adopted by society and um, only in rare cases well I won't say rare but less frequent uh, cases will you see STP uh, shielded um, everywhere grocery stores, everywhere you go homes, uh, libraries, and just many places you will see UTP cables, untwisted, uh, unshielded twisted pair. And twisted just means that the wires are twisted over and over and over and over and then it's shielded or wrapped basically. Oh, there is another type of cable I didn't mention. I knew that was something I was mi mi uh, missing. Coax. So coax, that's the cable that you basically have in your house and it's very flexible and it's uh, and it can transmit high bandwidth um, type of data so that's pretty much what's running in your house right now is a coax cable alright I think that's it uh, yeah I think that's it alright so if you have any other questions let me know and I will answer them this is part two of physical security network setups um, and I guess I went a little further than just setups, but some of the different technologies with physical security networks. All right, thanks.